As an online business owner, email is one of the most powerful tools you have and Kajabi has an amazing email tool built in. I love Kajabi email. It's awesome for marketing, it's awesome for getting leads, and it's awesome for taking people through my pipelines and sales funnels. In the next few videos, we're gonna be talking about email and specifically how to launch using email, how to have an evergreen email funnel, all of it. And we're gonna to start today by looking at Kajabi email sequences and exactly how to set them up, how they work, and when you can expect to use them. This is day 39 of Crush It on Kajabi in 90 days. We're doing 90 straight days of videos all about your online business and how to start it, build it, and grow it on what I think is the best online business platform there is, which is Kajabi. If you're thinking about joining Kajabi, you can use my link below, lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. With that, you get 30 free days, a 30 day free trial. I'm also gonna give you my $25,000 course launch email template. These are the exact emails and the exact email strategy that I use to launch my first course, which made over $25,000 in its first three launches. I'm gonna put that in your hands for free. And also, you're gonna get a 45 minute Zoom call with me, one-on-one, -on -one, where we can talk about your business, we can talk about Kajabi, talk about how to get the best possible start on that platform, and I'll make sure that you're set up and ready to go. All of that is a way to say thank you for using my link, which is an affiliate link, so when you use it, I do get a small commission, so I appreciate it very much. So if you're gonna jump onto Kajabi and you appreciate what we're doing on this channel, then you might as well use my link to do it. So as we get into email sequences on Kajabi, it's important to understand how a sequence can either be a launch sequence, a welcome sequence, or an evergreen launch sequence. And then there's other types of things that we can do with sequencing, but those are the three main ways that we're gonna use sequencing in the next few videos. So what I wanna do in this video is really just show you how a sequence works and how to set one up. So let's use the 21 day guide to Killer Sermons Academy offer as an example sequence. And again, I'll dig more into this when we get into our evergreen launch sequences and welcome sequences, because this kind of combines the two. But just so you can see, it is simply a set of pre-written emails. In this case, there are 11 emails that go out over 10 days. So when somebody downloads the lead magnet, there's an immediate email that goes out. Then there's one a day later, two days later, three days later, four days later, and so on. And so you can see how many of these were sent. And this was an email sequence that I redid not too long ago. So there's 2,000 sends. And then you can see that there was 1,974. All this is is just, it's recent. So there was 2003, and then there's people that will get it tomorrow and people that will get it the next day because this is ongoing. There's a subscribe trigger, and we talked about automations earlier in this series. You can go back and look. But the subscribe trigger is that they submitted the form, the 21-day guide. Then there are unsubscribe triggers if they purchase Killer Sermons Academy in any of its forms. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to set up an email sequence. When you hit new email campaign, you get two options. One is a broadcast. That is like just sending one email. But an email sequence is when you are sending out a set of emails over a period of days. So the first thing that happens is you're given a bunch of different templates that you can choose from. You can make it look like a newsletter. You can make it look like a blog post. You can have it be a knowledge share. It's say you're announcing an event or a product. You can actually have a built-in timer, uh, deadline timer, showcase a product, which is pretty cool. You can do a just kind of simple text, which I prefer most of the time. You can do any of these other themes that have all kinds of different ways to do it. So your next painting adventure starts today, whatever that means, but it also has the countdown in it. So there's lots of different ways that you can set up a sequence of emails. So let's just say that you use the classic editor, which I'm just gonna use for an example. You could set it up where the first day it would be sent one day after somebody subscribes to the sequence. Now again, if you go back to where we talked about automations, that's how you can see how somebody gets subscribed to the sequence. So it's like if they download your lead magnet, they are pushed over to the sequence um, because you set up that automation. So what I like to do is have this actually be zero, day zero. This means that email will be sent immediately after someone subscribed to this email sequence. 
You can call it what you want inside the internal title. This is just what you see when you see the back end of this sequence. And then the subject is what the person sees when they get the email. And then you can put in the, the body of text and save. And it's not gonna let me save because I didn't put anything in there. But if I save it, which I'll go ahead and say test, uh, subject is test and body is test, just so you can see. So when I save it, what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring up this page right here where right now there is one email in this sequence and there are zero subscribe triggers and zero unsubscribe triggers. If I wanted to set up a subscribe trigger, I could add a trigger and I do any of these when and then, or if then. If this action happens, then subscribe them to this email sequence. And I can pick from any of these. They complete an assessment. They have a tag added, a tag removed. One of the things that I like to do is attach it to the form. So let's say the form is submitted. Which form? And I can pick any of these forms that I have. So let's just say that I have maybe a KSA waiting list. So they, they fill out that form. And I want them to be attached to this email. I can save and it would attach them to that email sequence if they fill out that form. So it's pretty simple and there's all kinds of different ways that you can organize a subscribe trigger and the unsubscribe triggers work the exact same way. You can see who subscribed, you can see your report of how many opens, what the click rate was, the open rate, all that kind of stuff. And then of course you can set up the settings of the email in here like, you can say don't email to the people who have purchased these offers or don't email to the people who have submitted these forms. You can tell what time it's gonna go out and there's another place for you to add automations, which is really cool. So that in a nutshell is the way sequences work. And sequences are gonna be really important because sequences are what exist inside pipelines when we start making pipelines, which is another way of saying funnels. Sequences are how we launch products because we want to take people through a journey of building up the anticipation about a product and then launching it to them. Sequences are how we initiate someone into our brand after they've downloaded a lead magnet. Sequences are a very important part of this process. So what I want you to do for today's action is to go inside Kajabi and set up your first sequence. Even if it's just a simple set of two or three emails, just to get an idea of what is coming and an idea of how this works. If you understand and learn one part of Kajabi, you're gonna understand and learn every part of Kajabi. So if you've done any of what we've done to now, then setting up a sequence will be pretty easy. Tomorrow, we're gonna look at setting up a welcome sequence and what the things are that need to go into that. So that'll be tomorrow and I'll see you in that video. All right, so at this point, you can go ahead and jump on Kajabi using my link below. Go ahead and get that 30-day free trial. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of the future videos in this series. And let me know in the comments what questions you have about Kajabi, about online business, or anything you would like me to cover in this series. And I'll be sure to address it in future videos. At this point, if you have more questions about Kajabi, you can click on this playlist right here, where I'll be right inside. I'm, I'm in that playlist. So if you click on that playlist, I'll be in there and we'll talk more about Kajabi right there. So click right there and I'll see you in that playlist.